Hi, my name's Jack. In this video, we're going to connect to an IMAP mail server using the terminal. If you're on a Windows machine, you do need to enable Telnet first. So you can navigate to the control panel programs and click on turn Windows features on or off. Then scroll down to the Telnet section and enable it. Okay, so in order to connect to an IMAP server, we just need to use the Telnet command. So we type in Telnet, then the host of our server, then the port. Okay, so we're connected now and the server has responded, telling us its capabilities. Here you can see it supports IMAP version 4 and a range of commands. So the next step is to log in to the mail server. So in my example, I'm using a mail server from Mailslip. So if I go to the Mailslip dashboard and navigate to my inbox, I can find the IMAP credentials. So I'm going to copy those and go back to my terminal and type in a login command. So for every IMAP command, you need to prefix the command with a unique number. So I'm going to say 001, login, then the username and the password. Okay, it said login completed. Now we can list the mailboxes on the IMAP server. So if we type in 002, list, two quotes and a star, we can see all the inboxes available to us. Here there is a mailbox called inbox and one with the email address of my email account. So in order to view the emails in this inbox, we need to select it. So we can say 003, select, and then type inbox. Okay, so the server has responded with information about the inbox. So here we can see uh, no flags are set and one email exists in the inbox. Okay, so to view the emails in the inbox, we can use the search command. So if we type 004, search, and then write all, it responds with search one as the result. That means that the first email address in the inbox has the sequence ID of one. We can use the sequence ID in further steps to read and fetch the email. Okay, so in order to fetch the email, we can type in 005, fetch one, and then pass an envelope. Okay, so you can see here that the email envelope has been returned. It gives us some information about the sender and the headers. In order to read the actual email, we need to fetch part of its body. So we can type in again another fetch command, 006, fetch one, then say body, square brackets, text. All right, and then we can see the full email. Here you can see it says test email. So what if we want to get the flag such as the red status for this email? We can do another fetch for that. Type in flags. Here we can see that it has the flag seen. So in order to delete this message or change any flags, we can use the store command. So I can type in a new command 008 store on email one, then say plus flags and then say delete it. Okay, store completed. Now if I search for emails again, it should be empty. Okay, and the search is empty. So that's how you control emails using IMAP. So to recap, you use Telnet to connect to a host and port. Then you log in using your username and password. Remember, every command should be prefixed with a unique number. After that, you can select an inbox and you can search and fetch emails using their sequence IDs. For more information about IMAP and to create your own test servers, check out mailslip.com and see our other videos on the channel. Thanks.